that's going to bring more money in, you know, for my business to make my business work. For Clifford Shelby, 635 new soldiers means more customers for his new barbecue restaurant. And I grew up right along this area, and it's grown a lot, okay, and it's got a lot to do with the soldiers. For a base that lost its tank school in 2010, the arrival of the Army's 5th Corps headquarters also means long-term stability. It's no accident that Fort Knox has the facilities and the infrastructure needed for 5th Corps. Uh, for decades, I've tried uh, to direct hundreds of million dollars, millions of dollars in federal funding to this area to make sure we were capable of uh, trying to get uh, new missions. Senator Mitch McConnell praised the Knox Regional Development Alliance for fostering a military-friendly community. Really, it's the community um, and their work to support soldiers and families that um, is a testament to us being able to tell the story of Fort Knox and that great installation and this great community and all that they do. The base already employs more than 20,000 people and contributes $2.6 billion to the local economy. Uh, a lot of jobs for a lot of people around here that probably need work. There's no specific time for when the 5th Corps is supposed to arrive. Officials say they just expect it to be sometime this year. In Radcliffe, Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.